from the beginning of time, uh, it's been a struggle for us to have enough for everyone to have a good standard of living. Is the AI trying to kill us? Or is it trying to do what we asked and there was a problem? So Google has once again taken the world by storm with their latest shiny tool, an audio AI model named Soundstorm. Many people have picked up on the scary possibilities of this groundbreaking technology, but it is a giant leap forward in audio generation, offering high quality, efficient audio. In this video, we'll dive deep into what exactly Soundstorm is, how it works, its potential applications, and its implications. Let's dive in. What is Soundstorm? Soundstorm is Google's newest AI model that specializes in audio generation. It generates high-quality, natural dialogues and allows users to control the spoken content output. You can control the output in three ways via transcripts, short voice prompts, and transcript annotations. What you get are natural dialogues that actually sound like real people talking. Now, one aspect that's utterly mind-blowing about Soundstorm is its speed. This model can generate 30 seconds of audio in just 0.5 seconds, half a second. That's 100% faster than any previous model, even its predecessor, Audio LM. This means that Soundstorm can generate longer sequences more efficiently. And without the lag time in previous models, we can expect seamless audio generation without a drop in quality or consistency. Speaking about consistency, Soundstorm can produce audio of the same caliber as Audio LM, but of course, it's a newer model. So it will do that with enhanced consistency. So you can expect the same level of quality every time you use Soundstorm. This has the potential to revolutionize the audio production industry. Think about the possible applications, from generating audio from text to creating hyper-realistic podcasts. The possibilities are endless, and we'll get into that in a few moments. But first, let's see how it works. And honestly, Google is insane for this. If you think Soundstorm is just another AI audio generator, wait till you see this. How it works. So, Google explains in the research paper, unlike most AI audio generators and its predecessor Audio LM, Google employed a novel architecture that makes Soundstorm remarkably fast in generating audio. This architecture is bidirectional attention and confidence-based parallel decoding. To break down this technical jargon, this is how Soundstorm produces high-quality audio in less than 30 seconds. Just hear how natural this voice sounds. Did you hear about Google's paper on Soundstorm? Um, no, I must have missed it. What's, what's it about? Well, it's a parallel decoder for efficient audio generation. Uh, so it can even be oh, used yeah. to generate dialogues. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, like this one was generated by Soundstorm. Wait, what? This natural sounding human voice is all thanks to Soundstorm's extensive training. Google trained the AI on a massive data set of 100,000 hours of dialogue. It's no wonder it has a robust understanding of spoken language patterns. Let's not forget the impressive consistency in voice while maintaining audio quality. Here, we can see how Soundstorm synthesizes high-quality natural dialogues by combining text and voice prompts. The result is this incredibly realistic dialogue between two people. I mean, it's hard to believe this conversation is AI-generated. The laughter is so realistic that I'm almost creeped out. The voice tones, inflections, and pauses is getting a little too real now. Here's another sample. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh no, what happened? I don't know. I, I just couldn't seem to, uh, to fall asleep somehow. I kept tossing and turning all night. That's too bad. Maybe you should uh, try going to bed earlier tonight, or uh, maybe you could try reading a book. Yeah, thanks for the suggestions. I hope you're right. No problem. I, I hope you get a good night's sleep. Wow. I don't know if I should be impressed or worried, but let's go on. Now, if you thought that was all, just wait. Google decided to take it up a notch with prompted and unprompted generation. 
Here, you'll see how SoundStorm generates audio conditions with and without prompts. You're not going to believe what SoundStorm is capable of. We can see the original audio here. Listen to how SoundStorm samples three different voices. Mr. Metacroft the Elder, having not spoken one word thus far, himself introduced the newcomer to me with a side glance at his sons, which had something like defiance in it. A glance which, as I was sorry to notice, was returned with the defiance on their side by the two young men. Mr. Metacroft the Elder, having not spoken one word thus far, himself introduced the newcomer to me with a side glance at his sons, which had something like defiance in it. A glance which, as I was sorry to notice, was returned with a defiance on their side by the two young men. Again, impressive or terrifying? I'm not sure which it is, but let's look at the prompted sample. Mr. Metacroft the Elder, having not spoken one word thus far, himself introduced the newcomer to me with a side glance at his sons, which had something like defiance in it. A glance which, as I was sorry to notice, was returned with a defiance on their side by the two young men. Do you see how similar it sounds to the original? It's almost difficult to tell them apart. It's the same voice, consistency, and frequency. Good job, I guess. Okay, let's compare it side by side with its predecessor, Audio LM. Both are by Google, so this should be good. He must descend with his heart full of charity and severity at the same time, as a brother and as a judge to those impenetrable cases. He must descend with his heart full of charity and severity at the same time, as a brother and as a judge to the heart full of charity and severity at the same time, as a brother and as a judge to those impenetrable cases. Both have clear sounding audio, but Soundstorm seems to have superior consistency. Of course, that's normal. It's a newer model. Soundstorm preserves the speaker's voice from the prompt with amazing accuracy. Better than Audio LM and produces better quality audio. So, we know how it works. Let's take a look at the potential applications of SoundStore. This one has got me excited, because there are a lot of possibilities here for businesses, content creators, and anyone who wants to create high-quality audio content. I'll start with customer service. It's very easy to tell when you issue a query to a business and a bot responds. It's so generic and cold, no emotion whatsoever, and this can be so annoying. To me, it just means one thing. The business does not care about its customers. Even if you want to automate the process, the least you can do is do it well. With its ability to generate natural sounding dialogues, Soundstorm has excellent potential for customer service. Imagine a customer calling a support line and interacting with the AI. In this case, it will not just understand the query, but will also respond in a natural human-like manner. This could change the game for businesses. It will improve the customer service experience as the AI can handle multiple calls simultaneously. That's a significant reduction in wait times. The best thing here would be the round-the-clock support. Obviously, humans can't do that, but AI can. Imagine a 24-7 support. That business will run better. For example, big companies like Amazon or eBay handle millions of customer inquiries daily. Now imagine how Soundstorm can enhance its customer service effectiveness. One thing's for sure, Soundstorm could lead to more effective customer service operations. AI will handle tedious and monotonous routine inquiries that take up time. That will free up human agents to deal with more complex issues. It's a win-win. The second here is how Soundstorm could be an incredible tool for accessibility. Converting text into natural speech can make content more accessible and digestible. It will be very helpful, particularly to people with visual impairments or reading disabilities. It will be a hit with people who like to consume audio content over written ones. For example, if you prefer audiobooks to ebooks, Soundstorm could come in handy. Companies could use it to improve their user experience for individuals with disabilities. It would make their websites or platforms more accessible. Or imagine a visually impaired individual walking down the road and interacting with Soundstorm, and Soundstorm is there helping to navigate the road, giving directions with a natural human-like voice. 
it would make the individual more comfortable and relaxed. Let's talk about a possible application in educational institutions. No two students are the same. People learn in different ways. Some are more visual. Some can learn in any way. And let's not forget that some might have visual disabilities. Schools can use sound AI to make audio versions of textbooks super or learning materials. Super competent, all-knowing AI of science fiction. And more we have accessible to be prepared to, students. Students. to work with an AI of course, that's you the one that we actually one has have to be in the present day. Here. It's content and present day creation. AI Soundstorm could make the process of creating enough. content Thank much you. easier. You can create realistic podcasts voiceovers and audio scripts you can play around with voices and see which one suits you best this is going to streamline the whole process and reduce the stress of audio editing with clean well-pitched voices there will be fewer mistakes knowing that you can get work down in a matter of minutes and a few clicks will be so helpful this one's my favorite and it's the potential soundstorm has for freelancers and business owners. Imagine how faster and more profitable your work could be because of Soundstorm. It would increase efficiency because you would be able to do more in no time. Then imagine creating high quality polished voiceovers for clients. When your work is good, you can charge more for it. And when clients know you're good, they wouldn't mind paying for it. Besides, what client doesn't want quality work? There are a ton of possibilities here. You could create voiceovers for commercials or personalized audio content for targeted ad campaigns. It could lead to higher engagement rates and more effective ad campaigns. So, Soundstorm looks incredible, but it could pose some real dangers. You know how I said I don't know whether to be impressed or terrified with this new technology? This is what I'm talking about. And trust me, Soundstorm could have a ripple effect on society. Job Loss Honestly, this one's terrifying because Soundstorm has the potential to revolutionize the way dialogues and conversations are held. I'm talking about video games and animated movies. I don't want to say voice artists may be out of jobs, but it's not looking good. Rather than hire a team of voice actors, production companies could just use Soundstorm to generate dialogues. Now, that's the scary part about Soundstorm having natural voices. Most people won't know, and of course, it will reduce production costs and speed up the process. For example, a gaming company could use Soundstorm to generate game dialogues instead of hiring voice artists. There's also the possibility that it could be misused. It could be abused for impersonation. It's an excellent foundation for scams and hacks or bypassing biometric identification. There's already a rise in scams using voice cloning. This is lighting the proverbial matchstick to a dry forest. Google realizes the implications of this technology, which is why they haven't released it to the public yet. They are working on putting measures in place to increase detectability and reduce the possibility of abuse. Just like Meta and their work on their AI audio generator VoiceBox, Google is working on creating dedicated classifiers. These classifiers will be able to detect AI-generated speech. They also plan to add additional measures like audio watermarking. Google seem to be working hard to make Soundstorm safe, but are these measures enough? We'll have to wait and see. But what do you think about Soundstorm? Do the dangers outweigh the good? Let me know in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more interesting AI updates like this. Until next time!